Alright gamers, welcome back to Sin, or Wages of Sin, that is. I'm in Voyans, and today we just got past uh, the chemical plant for the drug factory, and we're now going to get the, the u Forge JC and move on from there. So we're going to go to One Thumbs Club. So, U4 Lab, Mutant Cannibals, and now, or Lansing's daughter. Monero's, or now Dr. Lansing's daughter, who, was, who we met and he told us about Monero. So, Monero's doing something dirty. First drop off JC's U4. Then it's time to visit Blade's informant, One Thumb. So we're going to meet One we're Thumb, a new character here. Yet, I need to see One Thumb. I'll need to take your gun, sir. So, we're going to lose our gun temporarily. Upstairs, and uh, we're going to go meet our buddy One Thumb in a second here. So, he's in this club. This is his club. And uh, we got to leave our stuff here. But most important thing is we got to talk to One Thumb and then enter the vacant building of course, don't damage anything. That's the important thing. Don't touch anything. Don't break anything with your big filthy mitts, okay? That's the main thing you gotta take away from all this. So we know it's of utmost importance not to touch anything. Now, you can go to the club if you want. There's nothing going on. So go up to uh, One Thumb's office. Which should be up here. It's not this store. There it is. The private room, of course. There he is. Ah, Blade. Step into my office. I need to know what Monero is doing, Don. So, you're the one killing all his, uh, boys. I didn't say that. You're a dead man, Blade. I could be killed for just letting you in the door. This is serious. I think Monero's making mutants. Since you're dead anyways, I guess it don't matter. Monero's been holding a girl hostage on the top floor of the vacant building across the street. The place has a small army of uh, goons guarding it. She must be important. You could take the roof exit. You should be able to jump across the alley and uh, get in that way. Your gun is downstairs at the desk, Blade. Try not to use it until you get out of my club, will ya? Well, with that in mind, we gotta go get our gun, and then we can go do some epic stuff, presumably. So, got the gun, silencer, you know, the huge. So now we're gonna walk all the way over to the doorway, and into the alley. So, we gotta go across the way, probably don't want to fall down there. There's a door to get back up, but... Jump across. Hey, you hear what those freaks did to some construction workers? Yeah, I can't believe it. Why does the boss keep these guys around? The boss wants an army, remember? Besides, I think that screwy priest is losing his control of them. Ah, uh, bunch of nutcases worshipping that Sinclair, wacko. Could somebody help me, please? Yeah, go see what that skinny broad wants. So I guess there's our definitive proof that, uh, you know, uh, Lansing's daughter is there. So now, gotta fight our way in. But, uh, actually we're just gonna exit into the next area, uh, more than anything. So, in the vacant building here, Monero's holding a girl hostage on the top floor. What secrets does she know? This calls for stealth and cunning. You know, a mix of both would be cool. Remember, one thumb said the top of this building. So, the elevator doesn't work, by the way. So we need to get to the top floor. There's a couple ways to do it. Now you can sneak around. This isn't exactly a stealth mission, but it's more fun if it if you do it stealth. You'll hear there's flamethrowers. Oh, I just alerted all of them because... I, I didn't kill him with the headshot. Oh. <laughs> Could have been bad. A flamethrower, I don't know, I've never liked it, personally. That's just me. Um, there's a ton of health in this in this room. So, yeah. There's a lot of rooms that are blanker. There's nothing in them. Uh, there's some armor in here. No. I would say do that because... Be quick, be quick. Because of that. But I also should have, uh, 
mention that there's um, guys still. Right, They'll appear right, and spawn, but uh, there's bombs on the sides of the doors here. That's what I said to uh, right, walk out it. for. Yeah, I can really go for a cannoli right now. It's stuck. I think you'd go for a cannoli. Pro me too, honestly. There's uh, bombs on the roof, or on the ceiling, so... Oh, there's a gamer. And the more noise you make, the more alerted they get, but it's not like, you know, overly ridiculous. You can blow the floor off the building there. Or the roof. Anyhow. You might as well, while you're here, uh, take, you know, a gander. And, uh, you know, grab health. I would, I'm gonna leave a little bit behind. You also might want this key. Um... Because there is a way of doing this well, but at the same time you could um, you could fail pretty hard. So I would I would actually recommend you could try this fire escape. There's a guy up here. It's gonna be a big pain in the ass. There's also bombs. Um, the fire escape you can actually uh, bode pretty well. This guy's just hard because he's got a machine gun. He's also kind of in an odd position. Can't really kill him that well. But there is, these bombs up here are what's going to either make or break uh, your attempt. So I'm going to grab the remainder of the health now that that mess is done. Now, we're going to try to, we're going we're gonna to get hurt, but it's quick. If you run up the building to the top of the uh, fire escape, you sort of bypass the bombs there. Because it, it'll break the fire escape and it'll break this window, but you can get by pretty um you could get by pretty well um you might want the weaponry so you could you know stick around and try to kill these guys i certainly do i lost my shotgun somewhere but we got it back but the room we got to get into is uh right there to the left now, you could take the elevator, it's a little more difficult, because there's a huge army of guys just like right out here. And so it's much more difficult that way. Already got it. What you can really do is just go Where in the room. Where is she? Who? You know who. The girl. Where's the girl? Ah, don't kill me! I didn't do nothing! Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I did. Hey, whoa, whoa! Monero moved into a ship! I in the crane shipyards! You heard him. Let's go. So... Now we know where the uh, girl got moved to, because we saw her in the cutscene. When she's not there, she got moved to the shipyard uh, by Monero, according to the little henchman. So, now we're going to go to the day near shipping yard. So, Monero has moved Jessica to the ship in the crane shipyards. And that place is a fortress and night falls over Freeport. The place is a fortress as night. <laughs> I don't know, the text is small on my screen, I can never read it right. Blade goes in the back way, through day near shipping. So, that we are on... Uh, at uh, 8.38 on September 13th, 2037, which is actually, you know, almost year to the date next week. <laughs> I always find that funny because this game is like, you know, it's in the future, but it's not that far off. This could get confusing. I mean, really confusing. Containers, warehouses, more containers, more warehouses. Where am I going to start? Okay, boss. We're looking for the Crane Shipyard. Crane is spelled C R. A N E. Good. On the map, they're right next to the Danzer warehouses. Maybe you need a stronger prescription on those goggles. I'm gonna update that attitude when I get back there. Ooh, I'm shaking. A little callback to the original game with that line. Uh, but we're now gonna arrive at the uh, shipping yard, which is cool. So. Hmm. The way these shipping containers are set up, it would be really easy to hide a sniper or two. Thanks, JC. I'll keep that in Already mind. Got it. Now, it's not much of a big deal, but there is snipers, uh, and there's only like in one or two places, so I wouldn't worry about it. But first thing is, first things first is we gotta find the crane shipyard. So we're gonna go through the shipping offices first, and from there, there's uh, guys patrolling. So if you wanna be quiet, the uh, silencer should do the trick. There's nothing in this room, by the way. Just uh, letting you know. And uh, there's a computer here that'll prove useful I've got later. One of their comm links, JC. You want to use that radio What's right the there. frequency they're using? Hold on. Damn it, JC. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Tarkman's mom, a <I'm> Maphrodite. <laughs> JC, 
quit watching North Park and give me the damn frequency? <laughs> oh, yeah. The frequency, um, it's 53.2 kilohertz. Okay, got it. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah. Got the frequency now, and uh, we can move forward with that in mind. So there's always going to be this chatter from this guy, and he's just super annoying. So don't let that get uh, too annoying. Um, he's going to keep saying his name, which might be important to you. It's, it, you know, it, it's for using the computers. But if you, if you go over here, there's these uh, turrets that you don't want to use. But the crane warehouse where we're trying to go to. Or the shipyard that is. That's where that is. But we need the, the turrets turned get all off. These There's turrets guns. over there too. So yeah, yeah. keep that in mind. State of the art HK 1541s thermal and motion sensing. Man, whoever's running this party has some serious oh, dough. Don't, don't need it. Well then. So now we need to uh, cut the power to the turrets as long, or and we also need to find the maintenance chief now. The maintenance chief's just going to be walking around. He's going to keep telling you his location over the radio. Now, the snipers that JC mentioned, there's this guy right here. So, take care of him, because he uh, it's going to cause you grief later. And so, take care of these guys really quick. Some more. Probably going to need to reload. I don't think this guy's got a better weapon. Let's pull out my shotgun. Of course, I'm out. My favorite weapon is the, uh, the little silenced machine gun there. It's probably my favorite weapon in the entire game, so I'm glad that it has it. And we have a lot of ammo because it's uh, the same ammo as the pistols. Oh, hello. Already, already got it. Let's take care of these two. Now the maintenance chief guy is just going to be walking around. It can be random, and like I said, he keeps telling you the location. So we just kind of have to find it. Oh, what? Okay, apparently the sniper's not dead. Despite what I this thought. This guy's starting to get on my nerves. Still AC. not dead. I'm turning this stupid comm link I don't know how that's possible. No, I've shot no, him wait. like 20 times. This could be useful. Hank's just a maintenance guy, JC. And you know what maintenance guys have lots of? Uh, uh, why don't you tell me, techno dork? <laughs> keys, boss. Keys. They tend to have lots of keys, hint, hint. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Just testing you, JC. So, what he means is there's, uh, the maintenance guy has the keys to the doorways that we need to go into. But first, there is going to, uh, be me destroying boxes. Uh, guy over but, when the guy, when the guy gets his eyes on you, he's gonna keep yelling about it, so. He's gotta be around here now, because he would, he saw us, so he's, you know, yelling about it. Come to Papa. It was there. This Hank dude is gonna pay big time when I get my hands on him. If you get your hands on him, you have a gun, boss. Use it. So, there he is. What the hell do you think I've been doing all this time, JC? I'm I think they call it wasting him. So now we can take his key Ammo's and get into some uh, special areas. So, Good over here there's the uh, this computer. Uh, well, there's gonna be a lot of computers. Some of them work, some Shit. of them don't, but... It's this room's kind of, of uh, like a middle ground, but it's kind of also useless. So I would just say take the weapon because the guy is a cool weapon. Um, but there is a doorway here that we are going to go uh, through. Now we we could go to where we need to go now because we have the key. But at the same time, there is this uh, you know there is this really really cool room here at the at the bottom of the complex. Grab this health real quick. Oh, this guy completely saw him and just didn't do anything about it. Uh, uh, through this door, we can head down uh, through hallways on a computer. That one could actually be used, but uh, it's not going to serve any purpose really to us. We don't have a password for this one anyway. Um, but down here, uh, keep on going. A little blocked off, uh, wanted, meaningful overnight relationship. Same. Anyhow. Um, so back here is kind of an irrelevant room, but it does have some weaponry in it, so there's some health here. Let me grab that. Uh, that box up there has a special weapon in it. It's kind of like the grenades from the original base game. But it's like, you throw them, it's like a like throwable explosive. So you get like the little, little detonator and uh, that. So, we can actually sneak between boxes here and get to where we need to go. There's this, uh, that's where the turrets were, by the way. The authorized personnel building is right here. This is where the cool stuff I was talking about is, so. Down the hall. Down through the flooring. Well, the floor. And then, 
down every stair. Let's bonk this guy in the head there. Some uh, items here for us, so grab right. those. And then, uh, so there's a guy in there. Completely forgot. There's a gamer in here. Uh, this, ra this room is really cool because it's got pretty much everything you can ask for. Or at least uh, close to everything you could ask for, so. I think that's it. It's just this room, but health here. Okay, cool. And then, so, grab armor refills, weapon refills, ammo refills. And then on the table, there's actually night vision goggles, which we don't really need, but, you know, it could be helpful. Now, this computer is kind of irrelevant to us, but, you know, there is info that's uh, interesting. So, like, we kept hearing Van Damme talk on the radio, so if you type his name in, we can see his code. And then, you know, there's records of uh, the shipyards and stuff. I couldn't recall the code exactly. I thought it was, like, five, 4583 or whatever it was. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not going to, you know, pose a problem if we don't know anything. And nope, here there's uh, some items. Oh, there's just, hello. Um, now we can only access this door if we had the key, so, uh, you know, it's, a, it's imperative that you actually kill the guy. Um, and you see the little broken slat. Uh, we're, we were going to go by an area where you could see it, so, uh, you know, it kind of mocks you if you didn't have the key already. Uh, but now we're going to actually go to where this whole point or the whole point of this is so we still need to cut the power so we got to get to where you would cut the power now here's how the night vision works it really it only gives you like um outlines like infrared outlines of people so like it, it's not like a huge you know game changer like i always think about like the night vision in uh the original counter-strike there's this helicopter here that uh shoots this guy out and kill him immediately the helicopter takes off uh, but there's some weaponry here we can grab. Right. What I was saying is the night vision, I thought it would be something like it was in Counter-Strike where, you know, it gives you like a huge, like, oh, no, green, no, bright area, but that's yeah, fine. Um, this is an area we haven't been to yet because there was, uh, no reason to really go because it can all be done at once. So the power, it, uh, can be turned off downstairs. So we're gonna head down there, move on forward with our day, doorway there to the, uh, sewer entrance just make sure to miss anything secret or anything uh there's thankfully no rats somehow uh which is very nice anyhow there is uh very confusing hallways and i'm sure they're made confusing on purpose so we could escape out the manhole if we wanted to but i don't think you really want to there's just a, you know there's a there's a path we can go both ways so gotta find where the power is the door would somewhat imply it so Walk through, and here I found it is. the power generators, JC. Time to bust out of this joint for good. We're gonna cut the power here. No regrets at all. It's as long as we can get those turrets to turn off. So the lights will all come out. Might as well put <laughs> we on your uh, night vision down, and uh, we can find off. guys a little easier. Because they can't really see you, so you know they, they'll just shoot like in a linear fashion, because they just go off of sound, presumably. Like, you know, we didn't get shot at, at all once. He just kind of shot forward. So, got to sort of take care of them all. And then move forward. So, we'll just go in the exact way, or we'll, we'll leave the exact way we came in. So we can uh, probably turn the night vision off too. And, of course, I, of course I say that and then I get lost for a solid second and a half. Um, so now we're going to go back the same way we came. Uh, now that the turrets are turned off, we can go uh, stroll right into where we go. I left this health here because I wanted to um, grab this health before we started moving elsewhere. We're going to go around the building here to uh, where we need to go. And uh, no, this is not the way. The way is around this building instead of going wide on this building. Anyhow, so there is... There was a box that was guarded by turrets, and the box is not really that impressive, but it, it's still worth a check. But we can grab it safely now that the turrets are gone, so there's a health refill and armor refill too. So, there's also new gamers patrolling the area, so take care of them the best we can. And now we're going to go to the crane shipping yard, which is where we were... Uh, wanting to go this entire time. So we had to go through all these obstacles just to get to the damn warehouse. So we can actually 
we should be able to take these guys from above. Oh, there they are. So. Now they're dead. And uh, we can move forward towards the crane shipyard. So move forward. And uh, I just realized we didn't have the blue key this entire time. My apologies, everybody. We walk by. Um, I'm pretty sure we walk by it like maybe once or twice, but that's on me. Uh, what it is is it's, it's literally just sitting on a, on a table. Now, like I kept saying, you know, there's a bunch of computers everywhere. I believe it's in the back room here. I always forget the layout of this thing. I think it's, it's probably it's yeah, it's right here. Um, it's literally on this desk. I made a comment about the computer right next to it too. That's the irony of the whole thing. Because some of the computers in this complex work, some just don't. So, now, we have the blue crane security guard. We you checked your inventory. So, that's what we needed this whole time to just go through the door. And it, I, I just find it so funny. I walk by the computer. I'm like, eh, I don't know if you really need to. Uh, but the door will work now. And uh, open slowly for us. Now, this is, uh, this is probably going to be it for today. I'm going in. Good work, boss. I'm attempting to hack into the crane database as we speak. Good. So I can't tell if those are turrets or grenades. I'm stand back. Okay, they're turrets. We're okay. Anyhow, we can uh, move forward here, but that's actually going to do it for this episode of Wages of Sin for today. We're going to go into the shipping yard and find out uh, what's going on with uh, Lansing's daughter and everything. So, with that being said, thank you for watching, and more than ever, take care.